You see a new winner? La motion, Grace. On show. Talk us through the Kata. Salman, what's going on? How did she feel? What are those stances like? I, uh, I can uh, say, like, uh, Grace is one of the athletes that uh, is always working so hard uh, for any tournament, for any goal she, she has in her mind. So always when you see her doing a Kata, like, uh, it's always uh, a high-level Kata, speed, uh, strength, balance, everything is so good. So as she's doing uh, Unsu now, it's uh, uh, not easy kata. The level of this kata is a high level. That's why she's doing it in the final. So, so far, uh, it's great. What makes her choose this kata in this contest? Well, it depends on the, maybe on the opponent. Some athletes, they, uh, every, different, uh, every single athletes have their own strategy. Uh, strategy. Some athletes uh, have one strategy and they don't change it. Uh, they always choose the, car, the same katas in all the rounds and the middle bouts. And some athletes uh, choose some katas just for the middle, uh, middle matches. So it depends. Of course, you have to study your opponent first. You, you know that you are uh, uh, facing who in the final or on the bronze medal match. So all these things matter. It's a great deal to consider then, isn't there? Yeah. That concludes the performance of the Kata from Lao Wu Xiong Grace. And could it be a good thing for Uno Hikaru because she's one of the front runners, certainly been challenging. She's a phenomenal individual, been a world silver medalist. She was a world silver medalist against Sandra Sanchez. And she will certainly be looking to continue with that winning streak. Different kata, isn't it? This one in Papua Ren, slow movements, fast movements. Yeah, exactly. We can see, uh, like, even the rhythm of the kata of Papua Ren is uh, much different than the rhythm that uh, the other kata that uh, Grace Lau from Hong Kong did. So these things are uh, important also for the referees to to see the difference between the two katas. And uh, based on these things, that uh, referee can, uh, referees can uh, give their own decision. And what are the judges looking for in their um, assessment of the kata? Uh, well, From a technical point of view. The technical point, one of the most important things is the... Is the uh, conformance, uh, you know, you have the most important thing is you have to follow your style. Uh, for example, if you are a Shotokan athlete, you have to do the Kibadatsi. As a Kibadatsi, you cannot open the legs and make it wide like a Shikudatsi. These are uh, uh, one of the most important things that uh, 
you have to follow. And you talk about Kibadachi and Shikadachi. That's the shape of the feet position in the straddle stops. Exactly. Also, for example, for the hikite, for the hands, like for the shitoryo, you have to make it up, put it up, and for the shitokan, it's a bit down uh, on the belt. So uh, you have to follow your style exactly. And, and if people are not familiar with Japanese terminology for karate, the hikate is the pullback or the backhand position or the back or the way you recoil after the technique? Yeah, the hikate is when you do your, uh, your punch or your kakuzuki is the other hand when it goes back. This is the hikite. important balance point. And I know that you've told me before your favorite cut is Gankaku, and that's all about balance as well, isn't it? Yeah. So balance is, uh, is important in the kata. So in Gankaku, it's something different because it's all about uh, like the second half of the kata. You, you, you just perform the kata with almost one leg. Uh, but also in this kata, for example, in Papuan, there are some uh, techniques and movements that you have to stand on only one leg or the turns, the 360 turns, or 180 degrees. This all, like the most important thing on them is the, is the balance. Back 